Hey, so I just want to show this fantastic use case, how uh, Go High Levelers can use FormWise to create instant decision um, AI generators for, for use as lead magnets for their clients. So in this case, I have a personal injury lawyer. I'm going to create a form. I'm going to map all of these fields specifically into my custom prompt here, which I have right here. I've mapped all the fields. So basically when the end user on the front end uh, fills out this form and this form can be embedded anywhere. It doesn't have to be a link, a actual form wise link. It, it can be embedded on your website and this can all be customized fully. But whenever the front end user fills out the form, the uh, answers, the entries are basically filled in here as custom fields into the prompt and it's sent to uh, OpenAI. And I have advanced settings here where again, I can limit the response length and all the good stuff that's in the open AI playground. So once I save my settings here, again, I have additional options where I can redirect someone after the form. Um, I can uh, email the form submission to somebody internally. We've recently added webhook capability. So this is what actually, actually what, I, what this video is for. I'm gonna show you how this works and how I can send the AI response data to Zapier to add to a workflow. I can also display the results on submission. It'll take uh, about five to 10 seconds and actually show them the results. So it can be used as an AI tool as well. Um, additionally, um, you know, on our paid plans, you can completely white label and remove all of the branding. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. So when, when somebody fills this out, let's just make up a fake name, uh, Susan Connor, uh, Susan Connor, one two three four five gmail.com she can make a fake contact i'm gonna put a phone number here 307-2356 that's actually my uh business number so injury happened within the past three months uh i fell off my horse at work and my employer has fired me or whatever i don't know submit so in this case, I have the settings where it's just submitting the form. I'm not displaying the actual AI results upon submission. I'm sending that data to a webhook to Zapier. So it's going to catch a form-wise AI response along with the field entries. Um, and all you have to do is, again, you just go through here. You will test the form out one time, and it'll bring in all the fields you need uh, from your form and also the AI response. From OpenAI, you can create a contact in this specific scenario, again, I just mapped out the full name, phone, uh, email. Uh, I tagged it AI lead opt-in and I created a custom field where I am putting the AI response. So what this did is it triggered, uh, well, here's the actual response that it sent to this uh, specific case use, Susan Connor. And there is the personal injury. Again, you can mess with the prompt. I just got a silly prompt in there. Uh, but let me show you the workflow again, super simple. Since I added the AI lead opt-in tag uh, in the actual Zapier, um, it triggered my AI response workflow, which all it is, is a very, very simple workflow, nothing fancy. It's just a trigger based on the tag. And then it sends a text. And with the come on uh contact ai response custom field and again we could add like a little weight thing to not make it so body um but i think the delay on form wise the uh, five to ten second delay is pretty natural anyway so again let me know if this interests you again this is just the beginning uh you can now basically take the ai response and add conditional logic um you can email it you can do all sorts of things uh you can add it to a custom field to populate on the landing page um, as copy or whatever. Uh, we're still exploring the use cases. Go High Level is just one sector where we have a lot of users. We have users in really all these little segments. So again, I wanted to share this with you, see if you're interested in joining our beta program, you can sign up for free. I'm very passionate about this project and we have some very, very talented people working on this project. So uh, let me know what you think.